Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to be doing a requested video that was emailed to me by one of my subscribers. Um, so it's the best products for dry skin. As I have mentioned in other videos, I do have extremely dry skin, like to the point where it flakes and it just feels really uncomfortable and dry. So I did this video hoping that you guys, um, find something that's really helpful for dry skin, uh, both drugstore options and also a little bit more on the high end side. So let's get started with this video. Um, the first thing I'm going to show you guys is like facial creams. Um, the first one that I'm going to show you guys or the first few that I'm going to show you is um, first the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. It looks like this. I purchased this at Sephora, I believe, for... I want to say this was like 30 something dollars. Um, so this one is really amazing because it's great for sensitive skin. It doesn't have any fragrance. And also it feels very nice and cooling on the skin, which is nice when you have dry skin just because it feels very tight and dry. And when it's cooling, it feels really nice and hydrated. Um, and what I like about this is that I believe this has oatmeal. Yeah, it has oatmeal in it. So... Um, if you guys have like rosacea or eczema, this one is really great for you. Also, this is a really great moisturizer for under makeup just because it's not heavy. Um, it glides on really nicely and once you massage it into the skin, it pretty much disappears. So I really recommend this one for someone who's extremely dry. Um, I like to use this, um, only on like my extremely dry areas, like around my nose and around the corners of my mouth um, and this helps so much when I'm doing my makeup. I love it and a little bit goes a long way. I actually purchased this like three or four months ago and you guys can see like I haven't used that much. I just had it leaned over so it went to the side but um, and I've had this for a few months. I use it every day, twice a day so I love this stuff. Um, the next, if you got the next product that I'm going to show you guys, if you want something more affordable and more accessible, if you don't um, have a support near you or anything, I recommend the Embrylease Light Cream Concentrate. It looks like this. Um, I really, really love this stuff. One because I'm going to show you guys. Um, this was only sixteen dollars, and well, I can't open it because it has like tape and stuff. But it's literally this big and with Embroilease, you only need like literally a pea sized amount is good enough for your entire face. Um, and what I like about this is that it's a multi-function cream. So if you guys are looking for something that you can get more with your money, um, I really recommend the Embroilease. Um, you can use it as a moisturizer, a makeup primer, a mask and also a cleanser. So this one is really, really good. It's not heavy. It makes your skin feel super duper soft, hydrated, and ready for makeup. So I would recommend this for someone who is looking for something like an all-in-one and not that expensive. Um, they do come in sizes, so you can get the smaller size or you can get the... Um, bigger sizes for a little bit more um but it's not extremely expensive um like something out of this world um the next product that i'm going to show you guys that is for moisturizing the skin is the clinique moisture surge overnight mask so if you guys are looking for something just for nighttime um you don't really like to use a heavy moisturizer during the day i really recommend this mask because you literally just wash your face, put this on, go to sleep, and when you wake up, your skin is so nice and hydrated. It feels really plump and soft, and it really helps with, like, the cracking. Um, so this product is amazing, and it is a little bit more on the affordable side. Like, this whole tube costs you $20, and it lasts such a long time. Literally, I've had this for, like 
six, seven months, and I'm maybe like up to here, halfway maybe, and I do use this product very, 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 very often. Maybe not every night, but at least every other night. I use this on my skin. Um, and it also says here that it helps replenish your moisture barrier. So um, what that means is that it strengthens the barrier of your skin that actually holds the moisture. Um, so it can actually retain moisture instead of just losing it. So um, this is a really nice product. I recommend it and it's also great for sensitive skin because it's fragrance free and also allergy tested. So there's that. Um, the next product is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer. This one is a primer and a moisturizer in one. If you guys have severely dry skin like I do, this one is freaking bomb. One, it's super lightweight. It's almost like a watery kind of formula. Um, it's super soft, it hydrates the skin, and it also primes you for makeup. So sometimes when I don't want to wear foundation, I literally just put this so it can kind of like blur my pores, refine my fine lines. And so like basically my skin looks a little bit more smooth and not as bumpy and textured. So this one's really great. It is a little bit more on the pricey side, but I believe Ulta and Macy's have travel sizes of these. So you can try it or you can always ask for a sample. Um, but I really, really enjoy this primer um, and also has hyaluronic acid, which is really good for your skin. So um, this is another one of my recommendations. The next thing that I have here is the... Okay, this one is a little bit more on the pricier side. Um, if you guys want to take the splurge and do something really nice for yourself on Christmas or your birthday or just any particular day just to treat yourself, I recommend the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair. This stuff is amazing, miracle in a bottle. Um, I love it because it's such a lightweight serum that you don't really feel it on the skin, but it works because it makes your skin plumper like ever since I started using it. Obviously, when you have dry skin, like your lines and your pores and everything is just a little bit more noticeable. Um, so when I use this, my skin looks so smooth, so refined. And this has also been helping me with like some acne scarring that I have, like the little pits and also the dark or gray marks that I get on my skin. This one is really, really great. They have travel sizes available as well. Um, Estee Lauder is pretty much everywhere. Ulta Sephora, Macy's, JCPenney's, everywhere. So um, this one's really, really good. Um, it's non-acnegenic as well. So um, I know that's a lot of you guys' concerns is that when you use something really moisturizing and hydrating that you're going to... Um, suffer from breakouts, but this product is non-acnegenic and non-comedogenic, so um, this is great for everyone, and it feels so nice on the skin. There's nothing better than feeling like a really nice, luxurious experience in your morning or nighttime routine um, using a really fancy serum, um, and I'll show you guys. The bottle is nice. It looks expensive, and it's going to look really nice on your vanity. So, um, like I said, they have different sizes. Um, I just really like this stuff. I've been using it um, for about five months. Love it. Can't get enough of this. It's amazing. Um, the next thing I'm going to recommend for you guys is some stuff from Tatcha. So, we're still on the high and spectrum of things. Um, so I actually purchased this in a kit from Sephora. So I would recommend that if you um, don't want to purchase the full size products, they're a little bit out of your price range or you know you just want to try them on the safe side before you know you buy like the jumbos or whatever. So I purchased this in a kit from Sephora. Like I said, it was maybe $50. Um, it did come with some more stuff, but I'll show you guys what I recommend for dry skin. So um, it comes with the Tatcha Pure One Step Camellia Cleansing Oil. This stuff is amazing. It gets every single trace of your makeup off your face. 
Um, not only that, but it cleanses your skin without it feeling stripped or like nasty and tight and the need to moisturize this uh, makes your skin feel nice and clean but also really soft and supple at the same time. Um, and another thing is that these are um, very aesthetically pleasing. Um, they're, look at that bottle, look at this, oh, super cute. Um, and the product actually works. Um, I've been using this for about a week and a half straight at nighttime. Whoops. And this has really, really worked out for me and my skin. I love it. I love the results. I love that it even takes like my waterproof eyeliner, mascara, and eyebrow pomade off with just a few rubs. Um, so I really recommend this. But like I said, if you guys are hesitant on purchasing Tatcha full size, just because it is a little bit more on the expensive side, um, definitely look into getting one of the Tatcha kits. They have a lot, especially now that it's like the holidays coming up. Um, they're going to have a lot of the kits. So definitely look into this if you are dry. The next thing is something that is very popular in the beauty community. And I always said I wasn't going to fall into the hype, but here I am fell into the hole of the hype. And I got the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. Um, this stuff is amazing, you guys. I actually like to use this little beautiful bottle um, before I apply my makeup and after. Um, just the only thing I would say about this uh, particular setting mist is that I wouldn't spray it like if you have eyeshadow and eyeliner and stuff on. Definitely try to avoid the area, the eye area, because it can mess up your makeup because it's an emollient spray um so you don't want to use too much because it does it will smear your stuff and i'm just saying this out of personal experience i went a little too crazy with this spray and it definitely made my eyeliner run and my shadows kind of crease in my lines in my eyelid um but besides that this makes your skin so dewy so fresh so healthy um and it also feels so nice and moisturized um, amazing. I cannot recommend this enough. And as soon as I'm done with this travel size, I will definitely be purchasing the larger size. And this is an investment. Um, I am very limited with this. If I'm using it, I only like to use it for special occasions. And I only do three or four spritzes on my face, um, prior to doing my makeup and after. So this is my special occasion spray when I want to look extra flawless. Okay, so now I'm going to show you guys some more affordable options for facial mist and spritz. Um, obviously, you guys probably recognize this from everywhere. It's the Mario Badescu Rose Water Spray. I don't know if it's going to focus or not. This stuff is actually really nice. It feels very hydrating and I believe the lady that sold this to me says that the rose water is for dewy and then the green aloe one is for matte. I really prefer this one because I just love the smell of rose water. I don't think this does anything to actually set my makeup. Uh, but this is a great refresher if your skin is looking a little too powdery or dry. This stuff, fantastic. And this is $5. Okay, you guys, you can't go wrong. They have different sizes. They carry this everywhere. Everywhere. So you can purchase this at a lot of different places. Um, and I just love this stuff. It smells amazing. It's cheap. It's It does the job. Um, it definitely um, hydrates the skin and it, it offers a really good pick-me-up. Now with this one, you don't have to be as careful as the Tatcha spray. This one, you can spray it um, over your eyes and it won't ruin your makeup. So I like this one. This one's really great. Won't break the bank. And also sometimes I like spraying this on my brush when I'm using shimmers to get more of that pop. Okay. Next, I have a setting spray. This is the Milani Make It Dewy Setting Spray. This is a dupe for this, okay? Um, so the only difference between these two 
I would personally say is that this is a very fine mist. This goes a little bit heavier on the skin, but this is amazing. If you are dry as the Sahara Desert, once you spray this on, girl, you are combination slash oily. This is so, so good. It sets your makeup and it makes it dewy like the name. It makes it really fresh and glowy and I just love how it looks, especially when you spray this on before you apply your highlighter. Ooh. You're going to be shining extra, extra hard and I actually bought this um, from CVS. Um, so it's really great. Really recommend this for you guys. Um, absolutely love this and the fact that it's a dupe for a very expensive setting mist um, just makes it that much greater. Um, also um, this particular setting spray is not just an illuminator it actually sets your makeup and it claims to make it last 16 hours so um, really recommend this little guy I believe it was seven bucks seven or eight dollars um, and it lasts you forever love this stuff I want to try the NYX one, the NYX Dewy one next. I don't know if that makes sense. So next we're going to get into facial oils. This is my favorite part. Um, the first one that I have to show you guys is the Tarte Maracuja Oil. This one is amazing. It smells really nice. And what I love about this is that it's not a heavy oil. Like coconut oil or olive oil this one is super lightweight and it moisturizes without it being too heavy so on my matte foundations I actually mix a drop or two of this just to make it more of a luminous healthy glow and it comes through every single time um, and I love that there's a little travel size available for you to um, try it out before you purchase the big size um, this one, I believe it is made with papaya seed oil. Um, papaya is really good for your skin. Um, so I really recommend this oil here. It's amazing. And if you guys are concerned with, um, you know, like it having animal products or if you are a vegan, vegetarian or anything, um, Tarte is vegan and cruelty free. So there's that. And then I have this Trilogy Rose Hip Oil that I purchased from Ulta. It looks like this. I really, really like Rose Hip Oil at night um, just because it's extremely hydrating. You need one and a half drops at the most with Rose Hip Oil. And I feel ever since I started using the Rose Hip Oil, like my skin has definitely changed. Um, I feel that it's more healthy, more vibrant, and more luminous. Now, um, just a tip for you guys, I do not recommend mixing this with your foundation. When I tried, it actually made it separate. Um, so I would definitely do your research on which oils would be good. But this one personally did not work out for me when I mixed with my foundation. Um, so the way I apply my oils is at night. And sometimes in the morning, um, just in my dry areas. And of course, I do mix it in with my matte foundations. It's something that I don't do every single day, just when I choose to wear those particular foundations. Um, so I like to use these at night after I finished my skincare routine and put it on top of my moisturizer just to seal everything in. And you're going to go to bed looking like a glow stick. But honestly, it's so worth it. The next morning, your skin is so supple and nice. And I just feel like because it says it's an antioxidant and it helps like brightening and even your skin tone, I just feel that this is actually really good for your skin. And if you guys don't want to purchase this from Ulta, you can purchase it from Whole Foods. Just make sure that your um, it is like for your face and it is approved to use on your skin on your face um so i have also seen rose hip oil at whole foods so just a little alternative for you guys um this one was 30 something dollars but the one in whole foods has to be like at least 15 so it's half the price um definitely recommend this so that was pretty much all my recommendations for dry skin if you guys want to see a full skincare routine please let me know in the comment section and I'll be more than happy to do it for you. Um, if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. 
like and subscribe and feel free to comment anything in the bottom section just as far as requests or anything like that i'll see you guys later thank you for watching